Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla shows demo video of Optimus bot working in the Fremont factory. Tesla's solar roof and power wall proved reliable during Hurricane Ian, continue to function properly. A Tesla car's cameras help catch a road rage suspect that shot at its driver. And, Tesla planning on producing 495,000 Model Y and Model 3 in Q4, reports suggest. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has stated that Optimus would be deployed by the company to perform tasks in its own factories. During AI Day 2022, the electric vehicle maker released a video showing just that, a prototype Optimus bot working in the Fremont factory. Tesla did not waste time in AI Day 2022, unveiling its Tesla bot prototype on stage as soon as the event started. Tesla showcased two robots, one fondly called Bumble C, that's made with off-the-shelf parts, and one that's still under development, but made with custom Tesla components like actuators. Following a short demonstration of the Optimus prototype's capabilities on stage, Tesla played a video of Bumble C in action at the Fremont factory. The video showed the robot doing several tasks, from carrying parcels around the facility to working on the actual factory floor. While showing how the robot uses autopilot technology, Tesla also showed the humanoid robot watering plants at the Fremont factory's offices. Granted, these are very menial tasks, and the robot was not untethered during the demonstration, but it is a notable step up from the past year, when Tesla had no working Optimus prototypes. Perhaps most interesting about the Optimus demo, however, was Elon Musk's comments that came after. According to the CEO, Optimus is designed to be a mass-market product, costing less than $20,000. That's close to the price of full self-driving today, and far beneath the cost of the Model 3, Tesla's most affordable car in its current lineup. Moving to the next update, Tesla's solar roof and power wall prove reliable during Hurricane Ian, continue to function properly. Tesla's solar roof and power wall proved to be reliable during Hurricane Ian that hit Florida. The system remained undamaged and fully functional, proving to be excellent in real-world testing. Hurricane Ian hit the Atlantic coast hard, bringing massive destruction and grief to millions of people. Recently, it retreated from Florida, where it rampaged, sparing no one and nothing. A huge amount of rainfall hit the state, turning the streets of residential areas into rivers, along which yachts and boats literally floated, thrust by the wind at speeds of more than 150 miles per hour. According to the data, more than 2.2 million households and businesses have lost their power supply, and it is now almost impossible to restore it quickly. Under these extreme conditions, Tesla's solar roof and power wall were able to pass the real test of survival in real life. Kelly Roofing, who installs Tesla systems in the state, shared information about a facility that survived the hurricane. The company said that power wall was underwater for several hours and the solar roof remained intact, despite the terrifying wind. Despite all this, after checking, it turned out that the whole system works perfectly. Tesla solar tiles are made from tempered glass, making them exceptionally durable. Tempered glass is extremely durable and provides the perfect protection for solar cells in the entire home. It is able to withstand the impact of large hail and strong wind, which has already been proven in real conditions. Weddell & Sons have provided some important information about the Tesla solar tiles to give you an idea of their reliability. The solar tiles on a solar roof are rated for ANSI FM4473, Class 3, hail resistance. This means that the solar tiles have been tested in a formal testing environment, where 1.75 inches ice balls are launched 5 feet away, at just below 72 miles per hour. Tesla's solar tiles are also rated for ASTM D3161, Class F, wind resistance, meaning they are appropriate for installation where winds are less than or equal to 130 miles per hour. During testing, materials are subject to 110 miles per hour winds, created by fans, for two continuous hours. 
if they show no sign of damage, they receive a class F rating. But even after knowing this, if your system has been flooded, do not rush to turn it on until experts have ensured it is working. Moving to the next update, a Tesla car's cameras help catch a road rage suspect that shot at its driver. Tesla cameras filmed road rage with use of a gun against a driver of an electric car. Thanks to the additional capabilities of Tesla cars, the suspect was caught and taken into custody. Chris Harklerode shared with ABC 13 News a dramatic video of a road rage shooting that was captured by his Tesla cameras. The incident occurred on September 25, around 8.30 p.m., when he was returning home from the airport. Harkler Road was driving west on the West Park Toll Road when a dark pickup truck began aggressively following him. Initially, the pickup tried to crash into the Tesla's right rear door, the victim said. Then, they began to drive in parallel and, through the open window of the pickup truck, it was clear that the driver was pointing a gun at the electric vehicle. He pulled alongside me, he had his window open, pistol pointed at my car. At that point, I accelerated and tried to block him from getting to the side door in front of me, so he couldn't open fire, he said. Harklerode tried to leave, but the pickup truck driver was able to get ahead of him and block the passage, standing in the middle of the road. The offender got out of the car, pointed the gun at the Tesla, and fired several shots. Hartler Road was miraculously unharmed, and one of the bullets was stopped by the car's glass. The window tint basically stopped one of the bullets. It struck the passenger rear window, the only thing that kept the bullet from my head was the window tint, he said. Due to the fact that Tesla cars have cameras all around, they filmed the whole incident from different angles, which gave a clear picture of what was happening. In addition, they recorded the license plates of the attacker's car, which ensured his capture. The culprit was 32-year-old James Young. Currently, he is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, a second-degree felony. Young currently faces 2 to 20 years in prison, if found guilty, and up to a $10,000 fine. He is being held on a $100,000 bond. Moving to the last update, Tesla planning on producing 495,000 Model Y and Model 3 in Q4, reports suggest. Tesla intends to increase the global production of the Model Y and Model 3 in Q4 2022. The electric vehicle maker is also looking to build on this momentum in 2023, especially as newer gigafactories in Austin and Berlin ramp up their respective vehicle production. Tesla has been very optimistic about its growth, with executives such as CEO Elon Musk noting that the company should be able to maintain growth of about 50% every year. The present year has been challenging, however, thanks in no small part to headwinds in China during the second quarter, which shut down Gigafactory Shanghai for an extended period of time. Citing internal forecasts for the next four quarters that it has reviewed, Reuters noted that Tesla is looking to produce nearly 495,000 Model Y crossovers and Model 3 sedans in Q4 2022. These two vehicles, while being Tesla's most affordable cars, also comprise about 95% of the company's worldwide sales. The publication also noted that it confirmed Tesla's global output target with two people familiar with the matter. But this is not all. With Gigafactory Berlin and Giga Texas ramping their production, the electric vehicle maker is reportedly looking to follow its momentum all the way to 2023 by producing 1.59 million Model Y and Model 3 through the first three quarters of 2023. And considering that Q4 tends to be higher than previous quarters, Tesla might be on track to post sales of over 2.1 million cars next year. Elon Musk has previously stated that Tesla has a pretty good chance of hitting a global production run rate of 40,000 vehicles per week by the end of 2022. The internal forecasts reported by Reuters suggest that the company could hit and maintain this level of production past the fourth quarter. The company's forecast, however, relies quite a lot on the ramp of Gigafactory Berlin and Giga Texas, two facilities that are still in their early stages of vehicle production. Tesla is expected to release its Q3 2022 vehicle delivery and production report as early as the coming weekend.
Overall, brokerage Piper Sandler expects Tesla to deliver 354,000 vehicles in the third quarter, while Citi anticipates 369,800 vehicle deliveries, despite its analyst Ida Michele maintaining a sell rating on Tesla stock. Tesla observer Troy Teslike, who closely tracks manufacturing and delivery data, expects 343,779 Model Y and Model 3 to be sold in Q3 2022. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.